What's going on guys? Today I wanted to do something a little different in Forza Horizon 3, show you guys how to get the barns, where they are in the world, and what is inside each of them. Before we begin though, I wanted to give a massive shout out to Ali and Alan for helping me with this video. They are the guys who recorded 90% of the gameplay for this game, or for this video to show me exactly where they all were, to show you guys on the map, what's inside of them, so massive thank you to those guys for that. Anyway, so a couple things you should know about the barns. The barns will spawn in any random order. The order that I'm showing in this video will not be the same for you, and they will just spawn randomly, so say, I got the Reliant Robin first, or the Reliant Superman first, you might get that one completely dead last. But the thing to note is that, like, say each barn, so say there's a barn all the way in the top right, that barn all the way in the top right will always have the same car in it, regardless of what order it spawns in. Anyways, guys, that's about it for barns. I'm going to leave you with all of the 15 barns now. I hope you guys enjoy. Share it with your friends, give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, time to open her up. 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Look at the size of that wing. This is a custom NASCAR racer. What's it doing all the way out here? Best part of my job, right here. Old Land Cruiser, nice. You can't kill a Land Cruiser. They kept bringing out new models, but they really shouldn't have bothered. All the ones from the 70s are still running fine. Let's see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> it's a reliant regal. This is a classic piece of British motoring history. You keep digging up classics at this rate, and this time next year, you'll be a millionaire. And open her up. Will you look at those lines? This isn't just any Ferrari. This is a 166. First car they ever won Le Mans with. The car that started it all. And the poor thing looks like it's been sandblasted. I am way too excited right now. Seventy-three Falcon XB, five point eight liter V eight, main force patrol interceptor, fuel injected suicide machine. <laughs> you might have to give me a minute. Okay, wow me. Dune buggy, cool. This is a Myers Max. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. Actually, I wanted a Lamborghini Countach, but I figured I couldn't take it on the beach. Every day is like Christmas morning with you. It's a Jag. Oh yes, it's a Jag. Mark II, if I'm not mistaken. 3.8 liter engine, racing livery. But none of that matters, right? I mean, it's a Jag. You feel classy just standing near it. Come on, the suspense is killing me. No way is that a Ford Woody. It is. It's a Ford Woody. This thing is like a priceless antique. It's like finding a Rembrandt in your garage. Well, for me it is. And who's our next contestant? Hmm, looks like a Skyline GTR. The V-Spec. Back in the 90s, these things ran right in the Aussie touring car circuit. Come on, what have you got for me? I can't even see it under there, is that? No, it can't be. It looks like... One of the rarest and most valuable Maseratis ever made. Currently being used as a bookshelf. Mm. 
It's a Holden Monaro GTS 350, 5.7 litre V8, circa 1973. Sorry, it's just this is an emotional moment for an Australian. Would you like to do the honours? That is a Lamborghini, believe it or not. The LM002 was supposed to be a luxury car you could take off-road. Looks like this one's been hitting the dirt too hard. The suspension's gone. This is gonna be a good one. I just know it. Oh, boss, we stand in the presence of greatness. The Holden Sandman. See that faded paint? That's the Sea Witch livery. It's not a custom job. Holden had it like that in the brochure. Oh, I love this part. That's an FX. That's the first ute Holden ever made. That is Australia's gift to the motoring world, right there. However, ugh, this one smells like it's had goats living in it. I'm ready. We're ready. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, I mean, you know, it's a bit covered in mud and slime and whatever that thing is, but, oh, boss, that is a Ferrari Dino under there.